Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in to Handy Radio. Today we're going to do a, a direct comparison with the Motorola XT9D which is an outgoing model with the brand new XT460. Both of these are PMR446. The first main difference is the new XT460 comes with this plastic holster so the radio will sit inside this piece of plastic it feels quite solid and the belt clip actually rotates Motorola logos remained on top of the radios but the speaker patterns here has been changed you can see a little ridge here on the XT and ID but it's almost flat on the XT 460 the LCD display screens um, are roughly the same size uh, the little badge for XDNID is on the front, whereas we haven't got anything on the front of this radio. We know it's gone, uh, it's gone to the bottom of the radio, where it says XT460. There are only three buttons on the front of the XT460, and where there's one, two, three, four, five, six buttons on the older XTNID. The left-hand side view of the two radios, again, very similar. You have PTT on top and two other side keys on the new XT460 they have a slightly different feature uh, for a, by pressing a combination of these keys while you're turning the radio on. The right hand side of the radio is again there's very minimum has changed and both radios will take the same style the same size headphone. Now looking on the back of the two radios the newer XT460 has a different um, shaped battery on the back, whereas the XT9D is pretty much flat on the back. And you can also see that what this one has the belt clip where you slide the belt clip on. This one doesn't. You just put it inside the plastic holster. The battery contact points are different on the back. Looking at the capacity of the batteries, I know I said the shapes are different and you can see inside uh, the different number of pins over there. You've got four in the same group there. On um, the older model, you've got three and another one over here. It's got a little rubber seal, which makes it waterproof. The new battery is 2100 milliamp hours and the older battery is 1100 milliamp hours. Another interesting finding on the back of the radio is when you're looking at the newer model, the XT460, now this one uh, has a, a date uh, printed on the back, October the 21st, 2014, so it's very new, a 3.7 VDC, and on this one, as manufactured on December the 30th, 2009, this one has a 7.2 VDC. There's not very much difference. Now, both of them operate on the PMR446 band, so you've got eight channels. Now, both have 16 channels, but they're just the repeat of the first eight uh, when you go on to channel nine, but with a different privacy code. And um, the first eight has a CTCSS, and the last eight has a DCS. The real difference in the operation of the newer radio to the older one is um, by getting rid of some of the buttons now these contain a number of um, secondary functions so again by turning the radio on you use the same buttons and changing the channels on the newer xt460 we're using the dial on top instead of pressing the up and down keys on the front of the radios and now when you program the radios when you're setting the scan selections when you're setting your uh, scrambler one to threes and when you're doing everything else is pretty much the same. Now you could use um, the plus and minus on the XTNID, but on the newer model, you'd have to use the A and B. One thing you notice with the XT460 is it shares the same packaging, even including the size of the box. And everything inside the packaging is the same. You get the same um, number of adapters for UK and the EU. You have the battery in the little um, box here and the mains adapter with a drop-in charger and the radio body and plus these rather thick quick guides. 
I hope this video has been very helpful for you guys who want to find out what the new radio, the new XT460 is like. And if you have any question about the new one or about the XT and ID, please feel free to leave a comment underneath. And don't forget to subscribe to Handy Radio for regular updates on reviews and tutorials on handheld radios. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.